Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 23rd, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. We had wild winds blowing in off Lake Ontario last night, but by the morning the winds had settled. It was actually a pretty beautiful morning, but very cold. When I woke up this morning, it said 20 degrees Fahrenheit, so I didn't rush to get out in the morning. And throughout the day, the winds were light to moderate from the northwest. The sky was mostly sunny. There were some clouds lingering in the morning, and then it got to all blue skies. And then towards the end of the day, there was a thin layer of clouds moving in, but the temperatures never did get above freezing. So pretty chilly day overall. And with those northerly winds, we were at the south lookout. The first migrant of the day was this osprey. As expected with the winds today, the flight was mostly dominated by turkey vultures. And a few dozen turkey vultures gathered in a grassy field just past the south lookout. And it was a good spot to do some sunning. Some of them had their wings held open. And it was a spot that was probably sheltered from the wind. So uh, it was neat to look over there and see so many turkey vultures on the ground. At first I thought they were turkeys. And then they decided to all go. And they swirled up in a nice kettle and then streamed off one by one to continue their migration. We had a few interesting turkey vultures today. Here's one with a very crooked left wing, but it seemed to be able to fly just fine. And here's a turkey vulture that only had a couple tail feathers. We did have some hawks today, the most numerous being red-tailed hawks. Here we have a nice adult. You see that belly band and the dark patagial bars, and the adults show that dark trailing edge to the wings and the red tail. Here we have another adult red-tailed hawk, but this one is very heavily marked. We see a large, dark, blobby belly band. We see thick, dark patagial bars, and we see a lot of dark streaking to the throat and upper breast. So this is likely a northern red-tailed hawk from the subspecies Abieticola. I noticed a large, dark blob in a tree and that it was moving, so I looked over expecting to see a bird, but instead it was a porcupine. As we got into the afternoon, we had a nice push of bald eagles. Looking at the overall shape of this bird, notice that large head. And this is an older immature, so we can see it's already starting to get a white head and white tail, but still has a lot of white throughout the underside. So this is probably a fourth year bird. Here's a bald eagle that's coming up on two years old. If we look at the trailing edge to the wings, we see the longer retained juvenile feathers that have not been replaced yet. And we also see the shorter, darker feathers that have already been replaced one time. Here we have a juvenile bald eagle. So coming up on one year old, we see an even trailing edge to the wings because all of the feathers are the same age. And we see that this bird is starting to get quite white underneath. If you see a juvenile bald eagle in the fall, they're usually dark brown underneath, but by the spring they're molting and they've got that white underside to the body, but they're still retaining that dark brown head. And here we have a gray ghost, an adult male northern harrier, and this bird was cruising around hunting for much of the afternoon and gave us nice looks a couple of times. Here it is hunting, and this gives us a nice look at that owl-like facial disc. It was looking below with talons extended, and it went down to the ground, but when it came up it didn't have anything. Here's one more look at the adult male northern harrier, and I love those fierce yellow eyes. Taking a look at the eBird checklist, today we had 32 species, but none of them were new for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 594 turkey vultures, one osprey, seven bald eagles, one northern harrier, one sharp-shinned hawk, one cooper's hawk, and nine red-tailed hawks for a total of 614 migrating raptors. That brings the season total to 9,402, so we're getting close to 10,000 already. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, they're calling for rain showers with a high in the upper 40s. The winds will be south-southeast in the morning, and then with the passage of an occluded front, the winds will shift westerly at 10 to 20 miles per hour for the afternoon. So with those good winds in the morning, it's Certainly possible we could end up with a flight as long as those rain showers aren't too extensive. So it's a little hard to predict until we get out there tomorrow and see what the exact conditions are, but certainly a favorable wind direction in the morning. For Tuesday, it's looking cloudy with some snow flurries with temps in the mid to upper 30s and strong westerly winds. So maybe light to moderate migration for Tuesday. 
And for Wednesday, snow showers in the morning and then partly cloudy with a high in the upper 30s. Winds west-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour will probably be at the south lookout and probably light to moderate migration, maybe some turkey vultures pushing through. All right, another great day of hawk watching. And even on these off wind days, we continue to do pretty well getting hundreds of turkey vultures. So hopefully the good flights will continue. I hope to see you soon out at Derby Hill. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.